every family has a special recipe passed down from generation to generation, and nobody makes it quite like Mama. I'm coming for her. I'm coming to take her title. Today, one challenger is cooking a cherished family recipe to see how their version stacks up against the original. And the judges are their closest family members and friends who know better than anyone why Mama's is so good. She got it from her mama. Goodness, we're gonna be here we're all day be, with the garlic. Gonna, how are we messing up the first five minutes of the doggone thing? Get to Kane. Oh, gosh. He's gonna burn them. Can these contestants pull it off? Or will mama's beloved dish reign supreme? She opened it. Wow. <laughs> 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 this is not like Mama. We are so excited to meet Alma and Sharon. You know, sharing food is their love language, and you are about to see why. Cooking my mom's recipes makes me feel closer to home, for sure. Back in Charlotte, we have a really close-knit Liberian community, and it's such a food-centric environment. Something that I think a lot of us use to keep that connection to our culture. Jollof rice is a West African delicacy with a rice and tomato base, but the additional ingredients vary from country to country and person to person. My mom showed me how to make it, and my sister also makes it, but she makes a different version of hers. Mm. But I just like did it the way I wanted to do it. Alma considers her own take on jollof rice to be as delicious as Sharon's, but she admits it's different from the original. I use spices that I have like habitually used in my cooking that might not typically be used in jollof rice. But I think that's the beauty of jollof. Everybody has a version of jollof. And it's become something of a friendly competition between West African countries. Definitely this meal means a lot to our culture because yes. we are known for making the best number jello one rice. Jello rice is like an African, like everyone fights about who has the best yeah. jello rice. Yes. My mom's recipe is something that other people in our community ask for. Do you know what I mean? They'll call her up and be like, Sharon, can you make a pan of jello rice for this occasion? Because hers mm. is, is that good. Sharon. She's the originator. She's the teacher. You can't go wrong with her. I'm gonna go new school with it. I think Alma might have it. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. I can already tell how much love is in this recipe. Let's go meet the Hills. So I am very, very excited about this dish because basically I have some history with Ooh. this dish. My family on my mother's side, my roots, they're actually Nigerian and oh. we are also from Ghana. Nice. So I'm very, very excited about, you know, trying this. And I'm curious to know your take and your version. Honestly, I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to cook for you. I'm excited to cook for Harvard. Aw, yay! <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fun. Are, do you believe in your daughter? Do you know she can do it? Not as good as I would. Be. Ah! We'll see. Not as good. Okay. okay. Well, we're going to leave the two of them to get started, Mom. So <laughs> I'm going to take Miss Sharon with okay. me Sounds to great. go watch from the observation room, okay? Good right. luck. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm <laughs> All right, so what are the first steps, should I say, with this dish? Um, well, honestly, Liberian jollof is different because we do put a lot of protein in it. Okay. Right? Different kinds of protein. Making sure that you get your proteins ready first okay. is always the first step. Well, you have an hour, okay. and the clock starts now. All right, All right have good. fun. Thank you. I'll be back later. All right, <laughs> see ya. Family. Welcome back. Welcome back, back. Mom. Hey, Miss Sharon. <laughs> What you think about this jollof rice here we're about to get into? You think it's gonna be good? Oh, yeah. You got that much confidence? Yeah, she's trained well. She's well trained, so it's gonna be good. I love that. So this is a dish that is usually made at weddings, special occasions, anything that involves large family gatherings. We're making jollof rice. That, that salt here yeah, was a little good. heavy. Yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's salt. salt. Yeah. yeah. Kind of dumped it on there. So we'll do salt, pepper, and garlic powder for the chicken, mix it up, and set it to the side. Uh, she didn't throw the, uh, the onion season in. Liberians use a lot of different kinds of protein in their jello rice. You don't have to get too fancy with the seasonings on the meats because all of the flavor is gonna go in the rice. I don't even, well, I, I, I'll give her a little pass for that because I know Sharon, Sharon would have that meat pre-seasoned. That flavor would yeah, be Yeah, usually it's pre-seasoned. So one of the things that my mom always does is she boils her rice with chicken stock. 
Okay, okay. Nice. Oh, okay. I like the chicken stock. Yeah. Oh, I learned something new with that. Okay, Shim. <laughs> my jollof rice is unique because I learned jollof rice from my mom. I cook mine in a different way. And I don't use meat, and they use meat. I use only chicken. What you doing with that? You're just supposed to dump the rice. See, that's, that's American. Fancy. That's American. Fancy. Fancy. Yeah. Like, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's you. Fancy. Yeah. Use your hand. We're gonna fry the chicken. How my mom always taught me to test if the oil was hot enough. You get a little bit of water on your hand and you throw it in the pot, just a little bit. See, hey, that's why I told her before I left, don't burn nothing. <laughs> now she's good. All right, Alma. Oh, that grease is hot. It's hot. Girl, I know. put some on this with a clip in now. Okay, okay, I'm Stay fine. with it. I'm sorry. I got you. Okay, I'm let me come on this side. I just want to focus. You're doing good, right? Yeah, I'm doing great. How do you feel? I feel good. Okay. <laughs> I have a question to ask you, though. What's up? Did you think that we was going to bring you all the way over here and let you cook this jollof rice just how you want it to? I was hoping. No. To be honest. I, you probably I was really, were. I was. I was. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got these tins here. One of them, you're not gonna like. Uh-oh. And the other one, you're gonna hate. <laughs> I'll pick this one. Okay, let's see what's in here. Let's see what the twist is. Okay. Personality is the spice of life. Okay. But ever since childhood, one particular ingredient was never allowed in the Hill Kitchen. Okay? Mm -hmm. See if you can keep your flavors in check for five minutes with this unpredictable element. Hmm. What do you think this unpredictable element could be? Something that was not allowed in the Hill Kitchen. I don't know what unpredictable element is, but I do know she need to keep an eye on that chicken. You didn't want this element nowhere near that stove, honey. I have no idea. You don't know? No. Really? No. Let me help you out a little bit. Okay. Oh, Josh! Oh, Josh. <laughs> What's up, Yeah. What's going on? What y'all doing here? I heard you were quite the menace in the Hill Kitchen. OK, yeah. And I would like you to channel that energy. Heard. OK, for got? five minutes. Now, now, don't menace me. Menace your cousin. Don't, don't OK? All right, y'all have fun. Uh, don't open that. Did you stir it? What's I going did, on? No, you're not supposed to stir it. Stop touching stuff. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you here to help or to yeah, hurt? I'm about to help you. Okay, mean? great. Can you cut this? Uh huh. Can you cut it in half? Okay. On that? Yes. Okay, Boom. great. Josh, do you know how to manage that knife? <laughs> Y'all gave the wrong person a sous chef. <laughs> oh, Josh! Are you here to help or to yeah, hurt? I'm about to help you. Uh oh. This is actually great because well, I'm gonna put you to work. Cut that in half, like hamburger that. style. Okay. Absolutely. Great. Oh, he's cutting it like a birthday cake. Uh-uh. Uh, do I need, see, uh, not yet. He, he just grabbing stuff. You don't need me to taste anything yet? I don't need you to taste anything yet. Please don't put your mouth on anything in this kitchen at this point. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. How you cut peppers like that? <laughs> Josh and I actually are related on my dad's side, but we're all Liberian, right? right. So it's all family. He cutting a pepper like he cutting watermelon. <laughs> When is it done? <laughs> Can I try some? Yeah. So I'm coming in to check up on things. This is the pan that ultimately we're going to cook the jello fries in. Do you feel confident about him being in the kitchen right now? Look, check me, bro. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. I got you. All right. Josh, Josh likes to taste test. We don't know okay. about the cooking part. I'll be able to add everything else to that pot. That sounds about right. Yeah, it sounds about right. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. You want to touch it? Go ahead, touch it. Jesus. That smells good, though. Yeah, it does, because it's chicken stock. Alma cool. looks like she's doing great. Like, yeah. she looks mm -hmm. very confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Josh yeah. looks like he hasn't done much of yeah. cooking. <laughs> Is it good? Is it <laughs> he seems excited, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's like, he's doing mm. this, which mm. I think That chicken means... do look good. Yeah. Those look amazing. I know. What? Who knew you were a sous chef? Okay, I got good news and bad news. I get more? No. The good news <laughs> is you're done. You go back to the observation room and leave Alma alone, okay? She got work to do. 
Bad news is you got 30 minutes. Okay, yeah. all right, so. So I, I suggest you turn something on. I know, or up. Or, or up, or to the side. Great. Thank Very you. Very good. Heard, 30. This is wonderful. Thank you, 30. I need to go ahead and get this steak cooked, like, now. I like to cook it a little bit bigger so that I don't lose that moisture. And I need to cut the rest of these vegetables. The one thing that all versions of Jell-O fries have in common is the tomato base. There is tomatoes, onions, and garlic in the base of all versions of Jell-O fries, because it's not exclusively a Liberian dish. Jell-O fries is a West African staple. It's a regional dish. It's not a country-specific dish. It originates in the Senegambia region. So honestly, the roots of Jell-O fries are in Senegal. And it comes from a tribe called the Wolof or the Jell-O-F tribe, just depending on the translation. The recipe spread throughout lots of different countries in West Africa. Now, there's so many different versions of Jell-O and everybody does theirs completely different. Hi. Hi. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. It smells delicious. I'm so here. glad. I'm so glad that you think so. Okay, so we got our fried chicken over there. Yes. You want to taste some? Oh, I can? You are more than welcome to. Yes, taste it. They, they're oh. actually pretty good. They're really mm -hmm. good. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. It's hot. I'm sorry. I should have said something. Oh! <laughs> Oh, see? That's yeah, sweet. yeah. What's this is so good. I'm so glad you like it. Oh my god. Y'all gotta taste a Liberian person fried chicken. What do you think your uh, family is saying? Mm, well, I got an earful of Josh, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I, I did see him <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I've never cooked it for like a large group. Okay. Um, but I have. <laughs> Cooked it at home for my own kids. I've got two kids myself. Is it good, girl? Let me just tell you, I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys do this at home, but so, my grandmother, mm -hmm. when she eats chicken, mm -hmm. you have to eat everything. Yeah, we eat off everything. Off the bone. Yeah. The, the, what is it, the, the gristle? Yeah, the gristle. We eat the gristle. The gristle? <laughs> is she no. Liberian? <laughs> Maybe Our your ancestors. grandma's on to something. Yeah, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Our ancestors know yeah. what they're doing and what they're talking about. That's how you know it was yep. really good. Yep. And then... And I think I need to honestly take this off. I think this okay. is probably... Okay. okay. Tia, give me two seconds. You know what? Actually, I'm going to give you 15. 15? 15? 15 more uh, minutes left. You got this, okay? okay. <laughs> 15 more minutes. Fifteen more minutes. This is where I defer from my mother a little bit. I like spice. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a little bit of habanero. What's it? Habanero? Yeah. Yeah, if you really want the kick. Habaneros show up a lot in Liberian cooking. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I really like the heat that it adds. But if you add too much, we call it peppering people, because yeah, your to... whole body, your whole <laughs> body be on fire. <laughs> oh my god, ten minutes. <laughs> Like back in the day before the food process, what did you guys do? Just cut it really small? So we have this thing called a mortar that we the put mortar. it in and, and mm -hmm. we beat it up. Oh. You yeah. have the wooden one from home. Oh, really? Like you, you just... pound it until mm -hmm. it, it turns oh, like wow. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, 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 great. So here comes the fun part, it's putting it all together. We're gonna start to brown some tomato paste. Some cultures use whole tomatoes. See? See? <laughs> you you almost, you almost, you almost hit the ball. Y'all, <laughs> <watching you. laughs> your daughter can cook. <laughs> That's all I can say. That chicken wing. She's in there throwing it down, like putting her foot in yes. it. That's yes. what she's supposed to do. <laughs> like I mean, she, she got it from her mama. Exactly. She got it from her mama. <laughs> So this has been browned sufficiently, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mixture to the pot. Okay. But you know what I love about this though? It makes me really appreciate like what our parents put into making these meals for us. Mm. Like... What I really want is to see that color change and to see this thicken up. Bell peppers hold a lot of moisture. So we're trying to cook out some of that moisture. I can smell the habaneros. I'm really excited. 
This smells incredible. Thank you. I am so impressed. Oh, thank you. And you're doing it so fast. I'm trying. I'm really doing my best. How much more time do you think you need to finish this dish? Oh, like 10, maybe 15 minutes. Oh, OK. Yeah. I'm going to give you five. Five? Yeah. I can't do five. You can't do five? I don't know if I can do five. You're going to be five. I appreciate it. So she is under a lot of pressure. I'm going to add some garlic powder, some paprika. Paprika? Paprika? paprika. Half of the Liberian people are about to Google what that even is. So we have these little seasoning cubes that we use in a lot of our food. I'm gonna crush one up and put it in here for flavor. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna add my rice, my mixed veggies. Oh, I'm making a big mess now. That's okay. Yeah. If you don't make a mess, you're not cooking right. I'm gonna just turn this up a little bit so that we can just get everything cooking together. Okay, yep. okay, that thing looks good. Oh, it looks so good. You know what, this is a little different technique, but honestly, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Hmm, it's a little bit rare. No, it's good, it's a little rare. That's, mm -mm. Just throw it in the omelet. Yeah, throw okay. it in there, it's gonna cook down. Right. Three, two, two, one! <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay. I cannot wait. Yeah. I'm so excited. And if anything tastes like that chicken. What? <laughs> what? Liberia. Liberia. <laughs> All right, so we've tried your chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to taste your mama's. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Let's I'm ready. This. All right, Mama, we ready. Let's do this. Mama is excited to play this. Go ahead, play this. That's what Jello Fries is supposed to look like, too. Okay. Man, wow. that color, that brown. That's good. That's good. OK, ready? I'm ready to taste this. Do Let's this. get it. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good as, mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. god. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a happy dance, okay. Tia. Oh, 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 no, you didn't. <laughs> you sound like an old man. <laughs> <laughs> Food's so good. Y'all, this is good. This is amazing. That's all you Alma, mac, you got mac, your mac. work cut out for she you. Does. We're going to go ahead and switch this out and get and taste and taste your daughters. Get your <laughs> Liberian friend. So this is Alma's version. Mm. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Ready. This one is a little more, more red, red, right? Red okay. based from the, the tomato. Thank you. Oh, Lord. OK. All right, here Going we go. In. All right. Oh, Alma, good luck, okay. baby. OK. okay. okay. Let's see. <laughs> mm. OK, Alma. OK. Whoa. <laughs> wow. This is spicy. Whoa. It is, it is spicy. Look. Look at my paprika. <laughs> There's a lot of spice in here. It's delicious, but my taste. throat is on fuego. Let me tell you though, this oh steak. Oh, that steak. That steak. I know this is good and y'all wanna keep eating, but we have to judge now. Okay? Now? Now, Are we yes. Already? Okay. Yes, so that's how this is gonna work. T and I, we're gonna go deliberate. We're gonna have one vote, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. And then you guys are also gonna deliberate and have one vote. Mm -hmm. In the event of a tie, <laughs> Miss Sharon, Mama, uh -huh. you don't have to break. <laughs> you have to break the tie, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna get that done. Grab your plate. Let's go talk about it. I'll grab mine too. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Ooh, that was epic. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be very close. It is. The first rice, that's how I remember eating it when I was young. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that yeah, flavor that right flavor there. Yeah, that flavor is like the First authentic. bite took me back. Now, Sharon's dish, I feel like it was very well balanced. It was well put together. Do you know together. what I mean? Like nothing was overpowering. It's yeah. like everything kind of worked together. And that rice was so Seasoned nice. To Seasoned to perfection. Let's talk about the protein. Okay. okay. Man, that chicken was good. That chicken was different. Ooh, that, that chicken <laughs> was different. Don't make chicken like that. Alma's chicken okay. was enough to win this whole season. That's right. a good party wing if yes. I've ever had it. Yeah. See, I actually love the steak even more than, than the, chicken. the chicken. It's it's hard to cook steak, I feel like. Yeah, it it's is. hard to get it done the right way. Oh. Like it like melted in your mouth. Steak was Ooh. 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10. If we were just to look at the protein, Alma, Alma she, she like, I mean, boop, out of the park. Home you run. know, home run. Maybe uh, she did something with that paprika. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should have not been so hard on her. What are we gonna do here? I don't we know. We get one vote. So you don't know really where you at. It's a tough I, one. It's a tough one. Okay. How about this? On the count of three, we're okay. gonna say who won, okay? Okay. Say Our it vote. after three. After three. Okay, okay, here we go. One, two, three. All right, the time has come. The votes <laughs> are in. Are you ready for this? Um, I've accepted my fate. <laughs> no, 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 that was really close. Yeah, Don't I mean, yeah, girl. So, Tia, what's the fate? Okay. The suspense. What are you feeling? How do you oh, feel? Surprised, to be honest. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm really, I'm really excited. That's really cool. Wow. Within our community, within the black community, within the African community, within the African diaspora, food is the connecting thread that makes sure that generationally, we pass down love. My kids are eating a recipe that my grandmother taught my mom, that she probably learned from her mom. That's something that's really cool and really meaningful to me, and I hope that one day my kids are serving me their version of Jello. Listen. Oh. Let me tell you how I know something is good. When I know my mouth is burning, but I am still <laughs> reaching Eating for any piece that yeah. I can handle, yeah. that right. means it's good. Right. I so thank that. you both for being here. Tia, that was a lot of fun. I mean, I've had so much fun with you and uh, so much fun with you guys. But unfortunately, we have to go. We have to go. That's all we have on this episode of Not Like Mama. And this time, it wasn't like Mama. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time on Not Like Mama.